right to the top. Sponsored. Those close to him, even his own manager, say that deep down they knew Sugar Ray Leonard was going to lose last night. Well, they were glad he did not get knocked out and glad that he has finally decided it is time to retire from boxing. Terry Norris in the white trunks, a champion who few, few people have ever heard about, goes down in the books as the infamous fighter to knock Ray Leonard into retirement. Norris beating up on Sugar Ray last night in their fight in Madison Square Garden. Uh, it, it just wasn't there, and, uh, you know, I had to feel bad about it. Uh, I just wanted to finish the fight on my feet, and I did that. Sad victory because, uh, because of the way that I... Uh, you know, I guess the way that I ended uh, Ray's career, you know, uh, the way the fight ended up, you know, R Ray took a uh, pretty bad beating in there. Um, it was sad for me. Now, Fresno's Hector Lizarraga is quietly working his way up the featherweight rankings. And tomorrow night, he'll take on Pedro Mendoza in the featured main event at the Holiday Inn Center Plaza in downtown Fresno. Four years ago, Hector left Fresno to train in San Jose, but now he's back. I'm very excited about and uh, you know, cause this is my this is, is going to be my third my third time fighting here in my hometown and uh, you know I'm very excited and uh, I'm I'm ready and anxious to fight here. Hector's manager Miguel Yara feels that a world title is uh, within his reach if Lizarraga can stay busy. The only thing he needs is uh, some activity. Hector uh, has we call him the. Uh, ugly duck because he doesn't get too many fights. He has uh, fallouts here and fallouts there.